everyone, welcome to OPC TV communication channel. My name is Adena Kijunan and I'm your girl when it comes to history. Now history, they say, cannot be underrated or degraded in this society. And a child that fails to know his history is bound to repeat it. And I think that's true. And after thinking about that, I have brought to you an individual who succeeded in an extra extraordinary way. This man has done a lot for us in Nigeria and in the world when it comes to road constructions, bridges, and so many infrastructures. And guess who this person is? I'll show you guessing. Oh yes, this is Julius Beggar. I'm and no doubt about 90% of us must have heard the name Julius Beggar, Julius Beggar. I even saw the name Julius Beggar written on, a, on all of these lorries in Lagos State. Well, Julius Beggar, what do you know about him? Or is it just the name you know? Today we'll be talking about who he was, where he died, what he did, everything you need to know about Julius Beggar. I promise you, you're going to find this program informative, educative, and filled with so much fun. Now, stay tuned and have a Julius Beggar was born in 1862 in Zempelborg, a small town in Germany. His father sent him to Berlin at the age of 12 to be an apprentice with a leather wholesale firm. He returned to the family business, which is transportation, after three years in 1878. He found himself transporting building materials instead of grain. And while transporting building materials, he became so familiar with the construction industries and when he had gathered enough knowledge about building materials, he decided to switch professions and started his own construction company, which is named after him, Julius Berger. So you have Julius Berger, the company, and then you have Julius Berger, the person. The company, Julius Berger, came to Nigeria in August 1965 when the firm was tendered a contract to construct a 31.2 million second mainland bridge in Lagos. The project was a significant civil engineering work because it was the first in the country to be built with pre-stressed concrete. The construction of the bridge was designed in phases with the first phase completed in 1969 and the last phase completed in 1974. While working on the project, Berger undertook other projects in the country. A municipal water works project in Joss, awarded by the government of Benue Plateau State, was the first firm construction project outside of Lagos State, which involved building a reservoir to conserve rainwater and building a dam water treatment plants and tanks. The Julius Berger's firm's efficiency in building the first one of Eco Bridge made it a top choice to repair the bridge over River Niger, which had been damaged during the Civil War. When the war ended, vehicle and shipping traffic in Lagos increased and additional road infrastructure such as Eco Bridge was not enough to ease the traffic congestion. So the government awarded Berger an additional road construction contract. The project and Niger Bridge made a viable permanent establishment in the country. The Lagos State project included the construction of the Lagos Badagri Expressway, Itoiki to Ikorodu to Ekpesingu Carriageway, Ring Roads, and Akpapa Oshodi and Agege Motor Road. The firm was involved in constructing the 26-mile Lagos to Shagamu portion of Lagos to Ibadan Expressway and Jeba Road Bridge. Julius Berger was registered in Nigeria prior to the building of the Just Waterworks in 1974. It sold 40% of its equity to Lagos and Benue Plateau State Government and three years later sold an additional 20% to the public. After a cement armada caused chaos at Apakpa port, the company was invited to build a new port at Thin Khan Island. In the 1970s and early 1980s, 
Julius Berger Company was involved in the civil works at Alaja and Aja Okuta steel complexes and the new Federal Capital Territory, Abuja. The company is represented across Nigeria in structural engineering and infrastructure works and in southern Nigeria through domestic and international oil and gas industry projects. It has been listed on the Niger Stock Exchange since 1991 that the construction business of Julius Berger is the heart of the Julius Berger Group with 18,000 employees from close to 40 nations and clients from both Nigeria and the global oil and gas industry. Some of the major projects carried out by Julius Berger Company are Eco Bridge, which was completed in 1968, the Third Milan Bridge, which was completed in 1990, the Abuja Stadium in 2003, the Thin Khan Island Port, commissioned in 1977, the Lagos Inner Ring Road, which was completed in 1979. Aja Okuta Steel Plant, which was completed in 1990, Itakbe to Aja Okuta Ore Railway, which was completed in 1990, Abuja International Airport Phase 2, 1997, Central Bank of Nigeria Head Office, completed in 2002, Uyo Infrastructure and Road Works, ongoing since 2008. The first discharge drain built utilizing pipe jacking technology in Nigeria, completed in 2011. National Assembly Phase 3, completed in 2011. The multiple projects, Escravos Gas to Liquid Plant in Southern Nigeria, commissioned in 2012. Boni Liquefied Natural Gas Facility, Multiple ongoing works since 1996. The Chalawa George Dam Caraway completed in 1992. The Julius Berger Company was awarded a contract to construct link roads to Second Niger Bridge on July 4, 2018. The Julius Berger Nigeria PLC operates the German school Abuja, located on the grounds of the Julius Berger Life Camp in Warekwa, Abuja, Nigeria, and formerly operated German school, Lagos. How did Julius Berger die? According to Pa Ogunsoya, a Nigerian indigenous priest who witnessed the death of a great man, Julius Berger is buried in the community of Ito Iki, Nigeria. He didn't sacrifice himself for the bridge, says Pa Ogunsoya. He crashed on a big tree while leaving the house of Asani Ogunsoya, who was the ballet of Itin Okin community and the father of Pa Ogunsoya, whom he had visited to report his wife. Pa Ogunsoya said that Julius Berger died at the spot and was buried beside the big tree which he crashed, and the big tree still remains to date, presently in the middle of the Itokiki market. Wow! After going through all this, I feel so inspired. Now we know who Julius Berger truly was, how he, he started his business, and how his business has expanded and has really helped so many countries, especially our country, when it comes to development. Now the rumor or uh, the story about his death is not so certain and Tomorrow we might wake up and get to know that there's another story or something. But we'll keep you posted as soon as we get correct information. Information that we can trust when it comes to his story and how he died and all. But for now this is all we have. And I'm sure one or two or three of the viewers, you my friends watching this video might get inspired. If you're that little boy that's always been dreaming of something greater, yeah, trust me, you can achieve it. There's a saying that when you do the ordinary things in an extraordinary way, then you definitely get an extraordinary result. And to do to be great in life, you don't have to do <laughs> you don't have to go to the extreme, but just put more effort and you get there. 
Now, thank you for watching this video. And if you found this video educative, informative, and you'd like to see more of this, it's simple. Just subscribe. And if you have any comments, suggestions, please leave everything at the comment section. Follow us on our Facebook platform, on Instagram, and Twitter. And remember, I'm always your girl, Janet Halinaike. Love you. See you next time.